Hello Aries and welcome to your bonus reading. I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for joining me today in this virtual space. So Aries, we're gonna dive right in. As always, I'm gonna invite you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me more than you know. So thank you in advance. Okay, Aries, what is the general energy for this timeless bonus reading? Okay, three cards, three cards. I'm going to take all of it. I'm going to take all of it. Okay, so this is a big time for you, definitely. Whenever you find this reading, I believe it was supposed to find you in this moment. Listen, three cards, nine of swords, the fool, and the ace of pentacles. So there's this beautiful storyline here. You getting out of your head space after a period of maybe, you know, more stressed than usual, intense feelings, maybe intrusive thoughts with the astrology right now. Listen, I think we are all in our head a lot. And the fool with the ace of pentacle is kind of inviting you to look at the bigger picture that if you are in that headspace right now, remember you're not alone and that you are very close from expansion, from a new beginning. The Fool is the soul of the tarot. There's infinite possibilities when it comes to this card. It is... <sighs> to me, it's the moment before the leap of faith. We don't know, you know, if I could press play to this card, we don't know what the fool would do. But there's so many options. And with the Ace of Pentacles, there is this offering, this gift. Again, it could be a new beginning. We'll see. We'll see what, what the tarot has to say for you today. But this is a big time. And I feel like the cards are saying, don't give up. You're very close to achieving some type of goal. And remember, you're not alone. And remember that the swords in the tarot are not necessarily the truth. They are connected to your brain and your nervous system. So let's see. Let's see what this is all about. Let me know in the comments. Are you going through a lot? Are you dealing with intrusive thoughts more than usual? I don't know. Let me know. I'm right here with you, my friend, by the way. So strength card in the four of wands. I think that right now you have no choice but to be strong. And I know that sometimes it can be very exhausting, like having to be the strong one in a situation. Sometimes we're like, I don't have energy. I don't even know how to work with this fire that I have inside me. I don't know what to do with the feelings, with the intrusive thoughts. What I'm seeing right now is you're doing amazing. And I'm not saying that to, you know, sugarcoat or make you feel better necessarily. It's just that intuitively this is what I'm getting. There's a situation, Aries, that you perceive in a very negative way, but actually it is helping you transform. It is leading you to something very magical, something that is in alignment with your heart space. But to get there, there's this contraction, there's this challenge. Um, that's okay. That's okay. I'm hearing another challenge, another challenge. When am I going to have a break? I, I don't know if I'm catching up on you or if this is my thinking mind getting in the way of this reading, but there's something about that. Like, again, why am I experiencing this weird energy? Why am I revisiting this weird, intense energy? I just want to get out of it. I just want things to be good. And the tarot is saying, you're about to get there. And actually, you might already be there. The Fool card is, is very interesting. And I feel like I have to go back to this card. Because it comes out in readings in, in very specific situations. 
when we want the answers. We want to know what is this new beginning? When is it going to happen? When am I going to find love? When am I going to be less anxious? When am I going to be happy? When am I going to know what the hell is up? And the fool says, you're not supposed to know. You know, like I said, if I could press play to this card, who knows what would happen. The fool could take a leap of faith. The, the fool could start flying. He could turn back, you know. And my amazing teacher said that to me. Well, this is how she teaches the fool card. And she always say, the fool shows you that there was never ground beneath you to begin with. We are always leaping. We are always leaping. So there's something interesting around that here. The fact that you're able to trust, the fact that you are staying in the fact that you are choosing to see the positive in a situation will actually be very beneficial for you. And I don't think it's comfortable to do that. I don't think it's easy. And it's not about obsessing over good vibes only. It is the empowered decision to say, you know what? I'm, I'm choosing to see the beauty and the positive in this challenge. I'm noticing the thoughts, but I am not inviting them to stay. This is what I'm getting here. This is big. I'm going to be honest. Like, I have so many things uh, <laughs> kind of moving inside. I don't know. This is very intense. There's something that is asking you to laugh about a situation, to choose to laugh about it. Um, and I don't know why this is coming through. Very interesting. Okay, the lover's card is here. The four of cups is here. And the chariot card. So, again, you are the one choosing. Am I staying in this negative headspace? Am I inviting the negative intrusive thoughts to stay? Or I'm able to say, okay, my brain, my nervous system is bringing me there, is telling me stories that might not be true, can I say no? And that came up earlier in another reading. It's very interesting. Like, it took me years and years to learn how to meditate. Like, it, it did not work. It was so uncomfortable. And one time I heard something, and someone saying, your thoughts are like cars on an open road notice them just like you know they're passing by but you don't have to invite them to stay for some reason that clicked and every time i get nervous anxious obsessive over something i always go back to that and i'm like you know they're not invited to stay the intrusive thoughts and i think that the four of cups shows that beautifully you're allowed to say no that's not my truth my brain might be saying, you're stuck. You're not doing enough. You're not good enough. You're never going to find love. You're never going to be this and that. You're never going to get what you want. You're always going to be stuck in that negative space. Your brain will invite you to very scary places. But it is your job to say no. And that takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of self-love, a lot of courage. And I think this is exactly where you're at. And look at all... The major arcana cards, the Fool, the Strength, Chariot, Lover's card, this is big. And by the way, this year, 2023, is a Chariot year. When you break down the numerology and add the digits, it gives you seven, which Chariot is about what you've outgrown, that you're ready to leave behind. Look at this Chariot. This card is called the Chariot and not the Chariot year. It is about this cherry that you've outgrown. It's made out of concrete. And I know I said that to you guys many, many times before. And when we've outgrown something, 
it's not easy to say goodbye. It's not easy to say, you know what? That does not work with me anymore. It could be a job, a relationship, the apartment, the house you live in. It could be a way of living your life, behavior. It could be the attachment you have to a person that never shows reciprocity, whatever it is. You've outgrown a situation. And now it's becoming clear. The sun is shining here. The sun is shining here. There's all the beautiful yellow color here. Your mind is getting clearer and clearer about something. But the process is very uncomfortable. Just like, you know, notice the snake here on the lover's card. You cannot force, you know, rip off the skin of a snake when it's shedding its skin. Because it's going to die if it, it doesn't shed its skin. And you cannot rip it off. You have to wait. You have to let it fall by itself. It's very, very connected to what you're going through right now, Aries. This skin that you're shedding, it's taking a freaking long time for you to be like, okay, I'm finally out of it. But I think that the payoff, the outcome is going to be so big and you're going to be very proud of yourself. This is like a major energetical graduation. And it's leading you to freedom. It is taking you away from this mental prison that you've been trapped in for so long. And it is leading you closer to a soul-led life. And I'm hearing your mission. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Your mission. What is your mission? What is your goal? What is your purpose? I don't know. Justice card. Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands. So with the Seven of Cups, there's an option that you don't even know exists right now. You might be considering many options. You might be obsessed or very focused on one thing that you want. Keep your options open, my friend, because something that you have no idea exists will be hope opening up for you. It will be showing up as the Ace of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups is inviting us to daydream, you know, that, you know, it's kind of a good thing to daydream and fantasize let yourself dream big why would you settle for less why would you go for the easy thing someone is about to make a big freaking move Aries and I hope you let me know in the comments I really love to read you guys comments um this is so interesting finally getting the payoff that you deserve and I feel like in the past, there could have been a lot of situation that felt unfair. Like why people around me are always getting everything they want? Why does it look so easy for other people? Why am I always struggling and revisiting the same energy over and over again? You're getting out of the cycle, finally. And right now, I feel as you are watching this reading, there could still be a period of waiting, a period of contemplation with the Two of Wands. This is an energy you're very comfortable with. I think that you're invited to be very logical, careful, mindful about this next step you're about to take. And again, you might be sure of one option, one option, sorry, there's a new one that's about to open for you. And, and it's going to be a good surprise. This is what I'm sensing here. Your plan is made and there's like this big surprise that comes up. And it feels too good to be true. But this is exactly what is meant for you. And I think it's going to make you change direction. It's going to help you leave that chariot that does not fit you anymore. That does not get you any way. Anywhere, sorry. I'm having such a hard, hard time um, talking recently. And, you know, I just want to acknowledge that. Um, of course, you guys know English is not my first language. Of course, it's kind of obvious. And I've been called and pushed um, 
by my guides to record readings in French, which is my first language. So this is something I'm working on. Of course, um, you guys are my priority. This YouTube channel is my priority, but I really want to start recording readings in French. Let me know in the comments, where are my French people at, especially um, all my Quebecois out there. So I just want to, <laughs> I just wanted to um, acknowledge that, that my words are, I'm always looking for my words. It's not as fluid because I've been ignoring this call for so long, but now I cannot ignore it anymore. So yeah, there might be an important message for you uh, with what I just said. Ten of pentacles. So this is heavy. When I say that the energy you're going through is very heavy, it's no joke. I think that you are breaking some type of ancestral pattern. You could be the first one in many generations to get to that level of consciousness. Um, maybe the people that raise you, the people that were there before you and your ancestors, maybe they weren't as soul guided. Maybe they did not have the opportunity that you have. It's important to honor that. It's important to celebrate yourself and to really acknowledge and think about, meditate, journal on what is this era of my life? What is this chariot that I'm leaving behind? And what am I stepping into? And I'm going to pick cards around that because I, I feel it's very important that I clarify. But if you use tarot, I invite you to pick cards for yourself. What am I leaving behind and what am I stepping in, you know? And journal around the cards you're picking. I think that would be very beneficial for you because with all the major cards I'm seeing here, this is no joke. Okay, what is the era Aries is stepping out of? And what is the era Aries is about to step in? Okay. Oh, and look who's at the bottom of the deck. This is kind of the general energy of this new era for you. More clarity. More aligned with your inner child also. The heart space leading the way. The sun is... The sun is such a, a big card, you know? So many people are obsessed with that card. I know it's a lot of people's favorite. And the sun is great, but you have to welcome it or else it can burn you out. And I think I talked about that in your last reading. There's a lot of blessings about to come through for you. Your job is to open yourself. Your job is to work on receiving abundance. Right now, this is the only thing you have control over is what you do in the present moment. Because again, there was never ground underneath you to begin with. We are always leaping, always living in the unknown. So focusing on welcoming the sun, welcoming the abundance, opening yourself to this ace of pentacles to this new options that's about to open i think this is like the thing your guides in the universe is inviting you into so you're letting go of the wheel of fortune and that's very interesting because the wheel of fortune can talk about like being stuck somewhere and finally things are moving i like that and you are stepping in the page of sword era of your life, taking control of your destiny. So you might have been in a time where you felt like you had absolutely no control over the universe, over your faith, over anything. Uh, you trusted, you did good. Definitely you learned a lot about yourself. I think that you probably learned to surrender to what is, which is big. Learning to hang out in the unknown, hang out in uncertainty. And now you're stepping in an era of you being the hero. The Page of Sword is the hero of the tarot. I've always said that. I always felt like 
This card prepares us for any tower moment. This card personally for me comes up every time I am scared to do something. When I feel I'm not good enough, I'm not strong enough. When fear is like a legit barrier. Page of Sword will come through and say, yeah, this sword might be too big for you. You might feel like you are not strong enough. You are. You are the hero of this freaking story. And I've said that before. I don't know if I told you guys, but every time I see the Page of Sword, I think about the movie The Page Master, um, which is such an amazing movie. It makes my inner child, you know, it's so happy when I think about this movie. I absolutely have to watch it again. Um, this movie with Macaulay Culkin. And he's like, um, he's just like the page of sword. He's entering this world of cartoon. And there's like all these steps. A fairy tale book. And then the horror book. And the adventure book. And he goes into the books and into this, this world. And at the end of the movie he is so proud of himself it's like it's just so connected to the page of sword in my opinion and this is it this is what you're going through i'm not saying life's a fairy tale i'm saying you're the hero of this story and the things that you felt you had no control over are finally becoming easier to manage and that's not happening by magic it's happening because you have more tools in your toolbox. And not only you learn so much about yourself, you're able to not repeat the same mistakes and you're able to use the tools that you achieved in learning and through challenges and tower moments, using those tools to cut through bullshit, using the sword of your intellect, of your mind, to cut the blindfold, cut the bullshit and say, I I'm doing this. I don't care if I'm scared. I don't care if my mind is telling me that I'm not going to get anywhere. There's no point of trying. People don't care about what I have to say. Or again, I'll never find love in this or that. All the invitation that our brain can bring us in. You're taking control over that. You are the hero of this story. And I think that people are about to know who you are and you're about to take up a lot of space, which is the whole point of being an Aries. Um, you guys are the babies of the Zodiac. You guys are the emperor in the major arcana. You are here to teach other how to take up space. You know, when you're a baby, you come into this earth screaming, taking up space. It's natural. And the older we get, the less and less space we take. We shrink, shrink, shrink ourselves. You're done with doing that. You are done letting your mind control you. Again, you are taking the swords, the sword of your intellect or whatever tool you have now. Cutting the blindfold, cutting through bullshit, cutting through fear and saying, I am allowed to take up space. I am allowed to dream big and I am stepping out of this chariot that does not work for me. I don't want to repeat the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. I have to try something new and I have to be brave. Let's pick some moon cards. This is big, Aries. This is big. And again, there's so major, so many major cards that I know this is a time you'll remember. This is a definite, definitive time in your soul journey. This is the fool's journey. Luck is on your side and you and your loved ones are safe. I feel like this card, especially you and your loved ones are safe. It's like, don't overthink situation. And it's, it's easier said than done. Right now, it's important that you focus on you, your needs. Again, 
being patient and letting that snake skin come out, you know, come off. And learning to trust and welcoming the sun in your life, knowing that you are very lucky. It's a very lucky time for you. And, you know, Sagittarius energy is inviting us to stay positive, to see, to find the positive, the beauty in the challenges. Because I can guarantee you there's beauty in the Nine of Swords. There's always beauty if you, you're willing to look. And this Cancer energy says there are so many layers to everything. There's so many things that we believe right now that are not necessarily the truth. And we are in Taurus season still as I'm recording this. Taurus season is all about that. It's about old beliefs and, you know, facing that some of those beliefs are not serving you anymore. It's time for a little check-in around your values. What do you value the most? And again, luck is on your side. This is definitely a lucky time for you, but I think that you created that luck. It's not a magic trick, Aries. It's you. It's what you work for. It's what you're showing up every day for. You showing up for yourself. And again, it takes so much courage to leave that chariot behind. Because it got comfortable. It got comfortable staying there for a while. It just doesn't fit you anymore. You've outgrown it. So you can be proud of yourself and get excited for what's to come. Even if there's fear, it's okay. Again, let the fear... Pass by. Don't invite it to stay. I'm sending love, Aries. You know you can join me on Patreon if you're looking to learn more about tarot. I have a bunch of tarot lessons there. And I post a mystery reading every Saturday. I pick a card reading every first of the month. And I'm on camera there. We can talk with each other. So yeah, come, come meet me there. And I will talk to you guys very soon for your June general tarot reading. Bye, Aries.